to ground assault on the Coney-occupied Zaya Observatory. Intel reports a subterranean level is currently hiding an arsenal of chemical munitions big enough to take out the Middle East and Europe. Our primary objective is to keep that from happening. We're going to do that in four phases, the first of which will be to infill from the air. The target's currently defended by active SAM sites. Our planes will be taking direct fire, so expect a bumpy ride. From the offset LZs, all shadows will mobilize to your first objective, one of eight enemy missile launchers located around the perimeter of the observatory. You will take over your assigned launcher and on my mark, initiate a focused fire attack, destroying Zaya and blasting ourselves one colossal entry point into that underground complex. That's crazy. Once inside, you will locate the chemicals, collect as many canisters as you can, and double time to an extract point where you will exfil your cargo and yourselves. This will not be a walk in the park, but high risk is high reward. I'll be with you on comms. Now, are we good to get some? Yeah! Say we good to get some? Yeah! All right, let's get locked below. All right, folks. like an opera like a, a shadow company
Yes, let's go. This is sick. Let's go. more of an opposition though to like make use of all this stuff but that's okay let's go This is probably the best one. This is the best event that they've had. Possible hit on Coney's commander. I recognize that voice. I'll run signals intelligence to confirm. Oh, and it puts you in third person. That's fucking sick. Oh, that's fucking sick. I'm gonna take that. Request and recall. No. Let's split this loot fifty. Target the missile systems. Hold dark on comms until we report the birds. Chem bio levels are spiking. Time to start moving, Shadows. Dude, that's sick. So we're doing like a heist for these canisters. many people are playing so this is like a full match of like a war like a this is a whole war zone match worth of people oh that's sick the cave is like crumbling in
command confirms that is Vladimir Makarov. It's Makarov. Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, of course! Of course it blows up at some... Oh, that's insane. I'm just hitting it up from, from this side. There's like... People going further deep into the mountain here. Just look at us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> you would never see this many people in the chopper all at once.
get the Nemesis Operator Pack and the Fate Weapon Falls, the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle with 50 tier skips, and more. Early access and open beta. <clears throat> or, or, early access to the open beta, and then you get access to the campaign early if you pre-order MW3. Interesting. So... There's another part of this that drops in four days here. Like, that's what it sounds like to me. Hmm. It looks exactly the same. <clears throat> it looks exactly the same of what we've been playing here so far um how do i feel about it i mean that's how i feel about it it looks exactly the same like we've already been <clears throat> playing the same game looks like it's still in the same engine <laughs> as dr disrespect likes to point out that these folks are just still using the same engine they're just trying to get every penny that they can out of it without switching over to a new different engine Look, we were supposed to have like a two-year cycle for a Call of Duty. I was kind of excited for that. But then seeing the, the the state of this game and how it was going the first few months and how it took forever to have a season one and everything like that. And then season one wasn't really that great. I mean, if we would have had two years of this, oh, man, that I, I feel like that would have been a little bit painful. A little bit painful because they're, they're dropping content, but it's it, it's not... Once they added in the weapon stuff, like the weapon workbench into the the DMZ, that kind of expanded on things. But, I mean, other than that, they were really holding out on a lot of folks that love multiplayer. Like this, like this, the 6v6 uh, maps and stuff like that. They were kind of holding out, like, on those folks. Or, or the folks who love that, they were holding out to get some really good maps. And they're... Really not getting a lot of the good maps. I mean, the campaign's kind of just... It was, it was the campaign, and then they kind of hint to... If you watch the ending of it, it's where Makarov is on the plane. That plane that was in that video, or in that trailer. He was on the plane, and then he was about to do something. And then it just cuts out. So Makarov is like stating that Makarov's back. Well, then, for this trailer, you see that he, he gets that text, and it's like, no Russian. So he gets up with his little, he, like, built this handgun to be able to go on a plane, which is very interesting concept, um, and then performs what he calls no Russian. So that should be very, uh, that's kind of how I broke that down, or how that trailer kind of ties to the ending of Modern Warfare 2 2022, the one that we're playing right now. Um, I mean, Makarov was a pretty cool villain. I like him. They made him look different, but I, I guess he still has the same persona, which is good. So as long as there's no change to the persona, yeah, be all good. Mm, it looks like Captain Price in that video it looked like he was down or something like that. So maybe he like gets hit or or maybe they're hinting that he dies in this one. We'll have to see. But this game is literally just DLC for this game right here that we're playing. MW3, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, I think MW3 is literally just DLC for the game that we're playing right now. Modern Warfare 2 2022. As long as these skins carry over, I guess I really don't have an issue. I have an issue with, I guess, what Call of Duty was kind of... They got rid of Nick Merck's skin and everything, or took it out of the store. I have some issue with that. Um, and I really just have some issues with... They just don't verbally speak out to the public anymore. They just post these these videos or these pictures on social media, but no one's actually out there on the front lines talking to the community about what's going on and why they're making their cha like these changes. These people are like sitting behind this this glass window 
and we're just outside like yo we're trying to talk to you guys like about these specific problems and they're just sitting in there do 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 they're They'll look over and see us, and they'll see all the issues and this, this, and that that you know goes towards them, and they just look at us. All right, da, 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 just keep making the game, blah blah blah. It's like, dude, you guys need to listen to your community, man. We're trying to get you guys a good game so we could play it, so so then you can take our money. But if you're taking our money and making a bare bones game that not with like, not focus on what the real player what the real community wants it's like dude you guys are making too much money for us to like put so much time and money into your product if you're not going to listen to us you know what i mean that's kind of how i feel about it whatever you guys think that's what you guys think but that's kind of what i feel uh will i get this game i guess i guess we'll get it just to see what happens like if they got to have the mz in it that's when I'll play. I don't really care about Verdansk. I really don't. Everybody's like, Verdansk, blah, blah, blah. As long as we're not getting Caldera. Oh, my God. I never want to play that map ever again. Never want to play Caldera ever again. Um, and if we do get Verdansk back, Verdansk has to look totally kind of different. I want it to be expanded out a little bit more. I wanted to have more things in between to make it look like a more realistic place. And to have more cover and like cool things and lore to it, I want to expand on that. But if they're just gonna drop the old vanilla Verdance, I'm not. I'm not really looking forward to that. That is, we've already played that. I'm over. I'm. This has done and over with. That's one thing I will definitely say. Everybody's like, look, nostalgia. Give us back the old maps. It's like, dude, that's one thing I really don't care for. I don't care for Coldera, and I really don't care for Verdance that much. But give us something new, like. They need to have like a snow map. They need to have just like how they have for for DMZ. They have Ashika. Uh, they have Vondel. They have the Building Twenty One, and then they have the Kachai Complex. That's a part of El Mazra. They need to have like a snowy map, a desert map, like a swampy tropical map, and then they have something that's in between that has maybe all of those in one area or something like that. Like that'd be cool. Those are my thoughts. Bringing back red dots, I mean that that's pretty crucial. If you're, that's how the OG cods were. If you had a UAV, Mofo showed up as a red dot on the mini map that's above you, somewhere on the screen. You would see that there would be enemies out there. Well, they took that out for this one, whatever reason. I don't care. It was kind of stupid. They should. They need to have red dots. They need to have red dots. Uh, I don't really care for slide canceling, but they need to make the movement pretty pretty smooth, though. That's all I got to say. It's got to be smooth, because when this game first came out, it was pain. You're just running everywhere, or you just didn't want to run because the footsteps were so loud. You kind of kind of figure out the footsteps here. Uh, I mean, beyond that, like, dude, they got to expand on what they have here. That's how I feel. You got to expand on this. There's no reason to be dropping all these Call of Duties and we're not expanding and learning from the past mistakes. You know what I mean? And then expecting people to buy their product if they're not learning from the mistakes and changing, you know, and learning from them and implementing it into into the next game. That's all I'm trying to say for that. Other than that, that's really how I feel. There's some, probably a, a few other things that I could really say, but I mean... That's really it. Am I going to buy the game? Probably. Uh, like I said, it's got to have DMZ. If it doesn't have DMZ, I'm not I'm not really too... How should I say it? I'm not pressed on getting the game day one or just getting the game in general if it doesn't have a, a DMZ. And if that DMZ doesn't have some kind of... Uh, like how Escape from Tarkov, you get like a hideout and stuff like that. They need to expand on that. They need to make it more than just you're just dropping into this... This game just brain dead, just going in, killing people, going in, finding loot. That's that process is very addicting, but it's brain dead stuff. It, there needs to be a higher, there needs to be a bigger purpose of what of Gus going into DMZ besides just having fun and going in and killing players and shooting bots and looting. They need to bring something outside of DMZ, or they need to bring this stuff outside to make DMZ. Um, more, how should I say, um, 
more appeasing because it, it's just i feel like folks are just i know technology and with the budgets and everything are, are so limit or limited but i feel like people are just such on a small level when it comes to stuff like this they can expand so much it would be groundbreaking they're they're one of the they're probably the best first person shooter the most popular one on the planet and you can't tell me that you can't expand on this weird cycle where you just it's all about loot it's all about looting blah blah blah, blah. Loot, 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 loot. okay well what am i doing with that loot i'm i'm looting up for my character in the game to be more of a threat to other players to make me better so i can have a higher chance of getting out of there like i need to be doing stuff with that loot that's in there like dr disrespect shout out to him he has a game that's a battle royale where you're trying to extract loot out like what is that loot we need to take that loot bat somewhere to 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 build upon that like i'm just building up contraband weapons or i'm just going it's just brain dead stuff like i know there has to be a more intelligent more entertaining way that they can more structured way that they can advance from just this go into this game loot kill and then get out i don't know that's so i feel like that's so i'm trying to think of the word that's like low level de like design or something like that or like that's a low level vision but we'll see that's all i gotta say about that let me know what you guys think in the comment section i've spoke I've spoken enough on this. Today is August 17, 2023. We just witnessed the MW3 reveal um, on Call of Duty MW2022. MW2. Uh, three more days for, I guess, another reveal. So definitely tap in with that. This was probably the best event so far, even though it seemed like that, that was such a small, just like a short event. You go in. You go to these missile silos, you hold it down, you get the missile prepared, and then you head to the mountain, of, or, or you blow up the mountain, you head into the mountain, grab the canisters, and then leave. And then you get the trailer. Like That was probably the best because it was like action, like there's a lot of action and stuff going on. The last ones, you got on a train to see what Vanguard was, and it was just like, dude, all this stuff's corny. That was the best one, hands down. The best reveal events uh, i've seen for call of duty so that's how i feel that's what happened that's what we did we're here we're live it's your boy kwtv uh if you want to see what we're doing hit me up on twitch instagram tiktok youtube kick in threads at kicking it with timmy b and then you can hit me up on facebook and twitter at kwtb gaming what a blessing let's see what this uh, game is really about when it drops i guess we'll have to check it out let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of KIWTB Gaming. Peace.